That's so meth. Dig it. And he's all so. All right, well, that's kind of Riza. I, I don't know what this genuine thing is with the giant hammer. Yeah. That's, but I'm going to keep doing it. It's kind of gross. All right, I think that's enough multiplayer. Let's, yeah, let's I'm get I'm back done. into the story mode and. I, I want to see how that gripping let's narrative see how, ends. Let's see how this story ends, see if we can beat it. Mr. Games, let's skip ahead to the last part and make it fast. Well, now, see, this would be the last level. I go, why don't you just go in? Let's go to the last level. We're here. Apparently, we can't. That's... Even the power of the Mr. Games X-10 is, is, can't even get us well, to the last Oh, you know what it is? The there is level. a piece of wood around your knees. Yeah. And to, to remove that piece of wood, you have to unlock all, like, 35 of the 36 chambers. Could he just hop over the piece of wood? He can barely run, dude. That's fair. Oh, it's Raiden. Hey, Raiden. Yeah, that's... That, oh, he, he held is... his foot to my throat until my head blew up. So, Jeff, you're kind of getting your, uh, your ass handed to you here. Yeah, uh, this game isn't really set up for you to fight dudes that move this quickly and have electric power that basically kills you. So it, it's kind of an unfair fight to give to you when, when all along you've been facing the same kind of slow, dumb uh, characters. But as a benefit, we get to see Raiden uh, kill me with no, his fatality. It's not, it's, uh, I think he's going to do the one... What? I thought Fujin was supposed to be the god of wind. What? He's weather. It's all of it. He's not weather. He's he's, got, he's got, he could summon the power of weather. It said so in the thing. All right. All right. Practice mode. Maybe now you can beat the game. Yeah. Maybe with a little practice here, I can figure out what I've what I've been doing wrong. Find the hidden depth in this game. Like this move, for example. Jab. Jab cross. The one two. The mini elbow. Mini elbow hilt charge. The stomach stab. The sword scissors. The scissors combo. Wu-Tang swords. Hit swap. Analog. Analog indeed, Riza. The skewer spin throw. And that gong sounds uh, that I've done all the moves. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so that's so now that you know how to actually play. Now that I actually know how to play, I know enough to know that I, I don't really want to play it. Fantastic. Maybe we should just skip right to the ending and watch that. Yes. All right, now we get to see what's up with the master. Just the machine! Now! Ha <laughs> ha, psych. Fool you. What are you waiting for, coward? Finish the job. Oh, the secrets of the Wu-Tang are tattooed on his chest. And All this... the chambers right there on the... Oh. Ugh. Old man skin that you can see through. The stunning conclusion. Yeah, so... Huh, what an interesting light source in this room. You cannot begin to fathom my awesome power. I've got one just like you, son. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Snaps! Yeah, kid. Snaps! Huh? <laughs> Fool! You got a sensor, you know, if, if there's, like... Poisonous gas released, and it just knows. Just like, oh, close the door. Hey, junior boy, who's your daddy? And he's all, oh, glass or plastic? Oh, that's gonna go poorly for him. It's one of those things that we wish we could uninvent. And why is the door opening? Because it has another sensor that when it detects other poison gas, it opens the door. And then why is it exploding? It's exploding with Wu Tang energy. The, uh, the it's exploding with nonsense. The power of the woo. And then they're rising up out of the rubble. All 36 of them. And Yoda's and there too. Teletubbies is on also. And it, it cannot be overstated. That is a lamp made out of that dude's skin. Ew! Yeah. So that's it. Wu Tang Shaolin style Represent. for the PlayStation. Represent so it's, the woo. It's razor blade sharp, son. Woo World Order. This is a great fighting game. Time trotters. Looks like another amazing game will forever be remembered, thanks to the Time Trotters. Yeah, we're pretty good. Nice work, Time Trotters. Now let's get out of here before ODB shows up. Thanks, we're cool. He's off getting us some burritos. Wait, do they have burritos in 1999? They do now. 
Besides, it's not like he can get us some in 2007. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, he's a cool cat. Wait, shut up for a second. Guys, TR's picking up some danger. Be alert. Ah, uh, just kidding. Let's get out of here. Curse you, time trotters. How did you know I was going after Shaolin style next? That's all right. You still have no idea how far my evil plan reaches. What's going on, Palo Mine? Hip at nuke.com. These time trotters are becoming a nuisance. I believe it is time we took care of them. Done it, boss. Wonderful. <laughs> now, to more important matters. Uh, wagon tongues or wagon axles? Yes, another amazing game will forever be remembered thanks to the Time Trotters. But what's up with those bad guys? And what is a wagon tongue anyways? Stay tuned for these answers and more in our next episode... Dear Stevedore, or take this job and shove it. The Warehouse Game.